Hey guys, so today I figured I would do this little um, Olivia Holt history music video inspired look. Sorry if the lighting goes weird throughout the video, like the clouds are coming in and out of the sun and it's messing with the lighting. But anyway, I figured I would kind of do, you know, a whole entire, you know, makeup, hair inspired look from this music video because I have been loving Olivia Holt lately. Her makeup is just so cute. <laughs> And it's very like no makeup makeup look sort of thing and I really love that especially right now and then the hair is super super easy like it literally only takes me maybe 15 minutes to do this hair maybe even less as long as it's straightened <laughs> but anyway I hope you guys enjoy this video I haven't done a makeup tutorial in a really really long time so I'm super excited especially with the hair like I haven't done a hair tutorial in forever and like I said <laughs> The lighting is going to go all weird. I'm sorry about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get on to the tutorial. So for this tutorial, we are going to be starting off with the hair and I'm using second day hair. I had just straightened it the night before and we are just pulling it down and shaking it out and trying to make it a little easier to tame. I'm going to be parting my hair on the left side of my head and it doesn't have to be a perfect part or anything. Just, you know, do whatever you need to do. And I'm sectioning my hair off into two sections on both sides of my head. It's just gonna be easier that way to curl. Now I'm going to go in with the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heating Spray and this is just going to protect my hair from any more heat damage that I'm doing to it. And now I'm going in with my Remington Curling Wand. I think this is a one and a half inch curling wand, but I've had it forever so I don't really know. And I'm just going to be taking sections that are about, I would say maybe an inch to one and a half inch thick and I'm going to be alternating between curling my hair away from my face and curling it towards my face. This just gives it more of a natural look and it helps the curls to stop from kind of clumping together and just becoming one big curl. And now that those two are done, I'm going to be speeding up the curling process so it doesn't take too long and you'll just see you know, what I do. So now the curls are done and I'm just gonna shake them out on that one side and hairspray them with my Tresemme hairspray. It's my favorite hairspray. And I'm just gonna toss them a little bit so they look more natural and lived in and not too uniform and tightly curled. And now to curl the other side. And here is the finished product with the hair. They're not very uniform or tight curls. I just wanted very bed heady, lived in hair. And I think I achieved this pretty well. And now for the makeup, I'm going in with my Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. This is just gonna be my base or my primer. And I'm gonna put that all over my face. And now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and I'm going to be applying that underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, on my chin, anywhere that I need to highlight with some concealer. Now I'm going with my Rimmel London Match Perfection Concealer and I'm going to be using this to cover up any blemishes or discoloration that may be on my face. So 
going to go in with my Real Techniques contouring brush and I'm going to contour my face very, very lightly with my Wet n Wild contouring palette. You don't want to do it too hard because we're obviously doing a sort of no makeup makeup look. And now I'm going in with that same palette and I'm going to be highlighting my face, underneath my eyes, everywhere I put that Maybelline concealer. And now for bronzer, I'm going in with my Real Techniques bronzing brush and I'm also using my NYX Matte Bronzer in the color Medium. I'm just going in very lightly with the bronzer. I don't want to do it too heavy. I just want to give myself a little bit of a glow. Next, I'm going in with my Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighting Brush and also my Hard Candy Sparkly Bronzer. This is just in the color Tiki and it's a little light, so I use it as my highlighter. Now, I usually don't do my brows on camera, but today I decided to do so, and it's just super basic. I use some Wet n Wild brow powder, and I just fill them in very lightly, as light as I possibly can. I have some pretty dark eyebrows, so I just try and fill in wherever they're a little sparse. Tame those brows. Now I'm going in with my Makeup Revolution Affirmation Palette. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes of all time. And I'm going to be using a dark champagne color for my lids and I will be applying that with my finger. And now I'm going to be using my Lash Blast Mascara from CoverGirl, and I'm just going to be applying a light layer of that over my eyelashes, not doing anything too heavy. And now for the final part, I'm going to be using my NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the color Bedtime Flirt. And this is super, super natural looking and very, very pretty. Okay. And voila, here's the final outcome. If you did, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every Sunday and I will see you guys next week. Bye!